Do you think more kids should learn how to code? Yeah, because if you learn how to code, you can be like an engineer or work at Google and get a um, big job, and you can like uh, live your life. Change the world. Yeah. The tech industry has a long-standing problem with diversity, and Jason Gibson is trying to change that. I wanted to make it easily accessible to the families that live here. That change is starting in rooms like these here in New York. More specifically, the New York City Housing Authority, or NYCHA for short. It's the largest public housing authority in the country with more than half a million residents, a quarter of them under the age of 18. And Jason wants to give all these kids new opportunities. The goal is to have hood coal running simultaneously in each one after school and during the summer, every day. Hood Code is a nonprofit that began in 2019. Since then, Gibson and his team of instructors, mostly high school students and recent college grads, have helped many of these kids realize that a career in tech is not out of reach. I didn't have a computer till basically high school, and I didn't even know that jobs in coding like existed. I really did not know that it was like a field that was accessible to us. In some ways, neither did Gibson. So I came up with the idea during my incarceration in 2017. You know, I've always been a entrepreneur. Gibson says he thought maybe a career in the tech industry could have kept him out of the criminal justice system. And he used his entrepreneurial spirit to get others on board, sponsors and community members, to make sure his program would be free for students and a paid job for tutors. The easiest part about coding is um, the fun. The best thing about coding is that you get to use your imagination. It feels like a game. But if these kids do decide to go in tech, there are still challenges ahead. Black employees made up 8% of the IT workforce in 2022, according to the IT trade group CompTIA. And the numbers at some of the biggest tech companies like X, Meta, and Google show similar gaps. And then hit, you can hit copy. Shigo, one of Hood Code's tutors, says these kids have already been through obstacles and are not discouraged. The passion, the drive that these kids have is something that you don't see in like your ordinary, ordinary kid because I know that they had to work 10 times harder to be here. And now with $200,000 from the David Prize, a no strings attached award given to New York based innovators, Hood Code is more determined than ever to make real change. What do you wish more people knew about the students coming into this program? Um, I wish people knew about some of the creativeness that the students have, the ambitions that the students have, the abilities that the students have, and the interests. Uh, I think people kind of have stereotypes or, you know, their own beliefs about just neighborhoods like these in general, and a lot of times they're wrong. So although Jason doesn't code himself, he says his goal is to get hood code in every NYCHA neighborhood as soon as possible so these students can have more opportunities for their future. Gotti? Such a great story. Maya Aikland, thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.